In this video, we're going to go ahead and build this this clip form here. So let's head over to Fusion. And it's a little bit tricky to describe the process, but it's real easy to show it. I'm basically going to build out a, uh, a, a form, and then I'm going to make a curve, and I'm going to intersect uh, the curve in the form, and then use the resulting curve to basically extrude this pipe. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll go to the left view here and I'm going to click on this plane and we'll go to uh, Create Sketch, which is going to convert this surface into sketch information, which I don't want. Uh, and I'm going to go to Sketch and Slot, Center to Center Slot. And I'm just going to come in and basically create a slot shape that mostly matches that. And we'll hit Stop. And then I'm going to do a press pull. And we're going to actually uh, do a, like a, we'll make a, another curve kind of along this surface. So it doesn't really matter how far out this goes, it just needs to basically be far enough. And that is definitely going to be far enough. So I'm going to click on this surface and go to sketch, create sketch, and that will orient the camera perpendicularly. So it's looking straight down at that angled surface. I can delete the resulting sketch stuff. And uh, let's take one more look at the reference here. So at the, the back of the knife, it's going to come out at 90 degrees, cruise along for a little while, and then there's going to be this little uh, circular dip here, and then it's going to round out along there. So uh, let's start here. We'll go sketch and line. And we'll go out about that far. And this is just going to go all the way through. It doesn't matter if it goes beyond because we're going to be doing uh, an intersection. But you can see it kind of filled this in, even though I just did a, a couple of lines here. I've got this, this other stuff going on, and that's because there are some constraint-y type sketch things that got in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that stuff because uh, it is not necessary. So just do a drag select on it. All right, that's perfect. Let's go back to the bodies. And uh, we'll go to Sketch and Arc, three-point arc. So the exact location of this, I'm just going to have to kind of eyeball, but uh, okay, so a little bit back from the front, which can be like right about there. And just kind of get it close to that surface, but not quite there. Hit OK, and we'll go to Sketch and Trim and get rid of that extra little section there. All right, that should be fine. I'm going to hit Stop, uh, stop Sketch. And at this point, it might be a little bit more apparent of uh, how this is going to work. I'm going to do a split body. Oh, you know what? Oh, I made a, a little mistake there. So when I extruded that form out, it was as a, uh, a join. It should have been as a separate object. So let me see if I can go back to this feature here. We'll go to Edit Feature. And rather than join, I'm going to say New Body. And now that should work much better. So we'll go to Modify and split body and then for the splitting tool I'll grab our new little curve here and we can say okay so now we've got two pieces of geo two bodies I'm gonna go ahead and remove the outside one and now I have this inside one so what I'm looking for here is kinda of this outside edge I'm gonna essentially extrude that uh, in the form of a pipe but I need for there to be a place over in this area where that pipe stops so I'm gonna come back to, to this surface and go modify or uh, sketch create sketch and we'll do I don't need any of this sketchy stuff we'll make a rectangle and it kind of doesn't matter how it looks it just needs to sort of be there just needs to be a feature here that stops that curve so that's going to be totally fine I'll say okay and I'm going to do a press pull and we'll just kind of run it through and hit OK. So let me hide the rest of this geo and the canvas and we can see what we are left with. So I'm going to need to round this edge, this edge, this edge, and this back edge so that it's sort of has a nice smooth curvature. So I'll go ahead and select those edges and we'll do modify fillet and let's see what one looks like. One is great. We'll stick with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab these outside edges 
And you want to be kind of careful with this. If you if you screw up and grab the wrong edge, it'll basically just make you reselect them all. So it can be a little bit tedious. And you want to make sure you grab them all. Like that. And then there, and there, there, and this one. And now that I've got these outside edges selected, I can go to create and then pipe. And we'll get a nice clean tube there, but I want to make sure that I set this to new body and hit OK. So we can turn this other stuff on and select that inside piece and do a remove. And now we have that little clip tube there. I'm going to turn the wireframe off for just a moment. Just do shaded. Kind of make sure that makes sense as far as the thickness goes. Looks like it might be potentially just a little bit too thick, but I think that's all right. So what I'm going to do is we'll just do a little subtract here. I'm going to duplicate this form. So we'll go to body, control C and control V and hide the original. And I'm going to do just a little press pull. And the, the look that I'm going for here is kind of that, that cutout so that we can drop this guy in a bit. So I'm going to grab just one little section here and do a press pull. And we'll say like point two. Uh, it kind of falls apart there, right where I need it. So maybe point one. Let's see how that looks. All right. Uh, it looks like it's got a little problem there. That's fine. I'm actually going to leave it like this, and then maybe modify the original one so that it's a little bit a little bit skinnier. But let's go to just kind of do a, a little look here how stuff is lining up. I'm going to scoot it. Just do a little move. And basically what what I want to be careful of is I don't want the cut actually going into that that outer chamfer. I want to be a little bit protective of that. So just kind of scoot it like that. And hit okay. And so now we can do a modify. Actually, I need that same cut on the other side. So let's mirror it first. So we'll do a modify or create mirror. Grab that piece from your plane. We'll grab the uh, the work plane there and hit OK. So I'm going to do a combine on this side. Whoops, that we definitely don't want. Hit undo here. All right, so it's going to get a little bit more complicated. I need to do one more split body operation. So we'll do sketch and line. And I'm just going to put a line right there and hit OK. This is where split body becomes a really, really powerful feature. Is with a single line, you can, you can clean up geometry like this. So we'll go to modify, split body, grab that tube, grab this curve for our splitting tool and hit OK. And uh, actually, at this point, I think it makes sense to turn on the shaded with visible edges only. So now I've got this piece of geo, which is going to be that body, and I can do a remove. And because I did that on this side of the mirror, now I can just go back and mirror it, and it will be fine. OK. So modify and combine, you and you, and you, now that these are two different bodies, and set it to cut. Great. And we'll do the same thing over here, repeat, combine. Okay, that looks fine. And now we're gonna need to make a little bit of an adjustment to this guy. So I'm gonna go back to this feature. Let's see if I can find it here. That's gonna be this guy. You can see it lights right up. We'll edit the feature. So the section size is two. Let's make this like 1.5, just to make it a little bit narrower. We'll go to left view. And we'll do a move. And just kind of scoot it in there and make it, make it kind of snug. Make sure it lines up.
Okay, and then we're going to put a bolt in over the top of that, so it's going to be a little bit... Some of that stuff's going to be kind of concealed, but I think it's nice to add in those kinds of details if you can. Now, it looks like having done that, that uh, this area here is now kind of crashing in an odd way. So I'm going to just do a little... Now, you, you could totally modify this after the fact in, in a ZBrush and probably you would get reasonable results, but I think I can get away with doing it here. That's probably fine. So just a little bit of a bend out. And honestly, that's probably not inaccurate. It probably would be kind of a little bit bent there. All right, so there is our clip. A little bit of a roundabout process, but effective. And uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and, and build in that, uh, that little spacer thing.